This is Jeffrey Drazen for the New England Journal of Medicine. You're in that half-conscious state between wakefulness and sleep on an overnight flight when a voice calls out on the PA system, Is there a doctor on board? As you snap awake and identify yourself as a physician and find your way toward the flight attendant, you wonder what sort of emergency is occurring. Do you have the training or experience to assist with the situation? What about medical liability? In this journal article, Investigators report the epidemiology of in-flight medical emergencies using data from the records of a medical communication center that served a number of airlines from 2008 through 2010. Approximately 12,000 emergencies were reported on 7 million flights. There was one emergency for every 600 flights. Viewed another way, there were 16 emergencies per 1 million passengers. The most common complaints were lightheadedness, syncope, respiratory distress, in nausea and vomiting. The most feared complications, cardiac arrests and obstetrical emergencies, each accounted for less than 1 in 200 cases. The aircraft was diverted in less than 1 in 10 cases. The most commonly used treatments were oxygen, intravenous saline, and aspirin. An AED was applied to 137 patients with a shock delivered in only 5 cases. Given these stats, what should you be doing and thinking as you approach the emergency? Is the patient making respiratory efforts, and can he or she talk? While you introduce yourself, check for a pulse. If the patient appears stable, take a history directed toward the chief complaint. As you size up the situation, ask yourself, what's in the differential diagnosis, and is there a condition where waiting for the flight to come to its scheduled end would not be in the patient's best interest? Talk with the people at the communication center and get their advice. They know this territory and can provide guidance. The pilot will want to know whether to divert or not, and if not, whether the plane needs to be met by emergency medical personnel. You should think through the answers to these questions as you attend to your patient. With respect to liability, the authors note that the 1998 Aviation Medical Assistance Act includes a Good Samaritan provision, which protects passengers who offer medical assistance from liability outside of gross negligence or willful misconduct. While there's no legal obligation to intervene, when someone could benefit from your experience, I think you should provide it.